Hi guys, be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our only Lord and Savior and true God, who has sacrificed his life for us at the cross of Calvary, so that our iniquity may be expiated, our sins may be forgiven, and that we may be saved from eternal death. This video was already released in German language last year, but I didn't manage it to provide the English version swiftly. Sorry for this. However, it's not tragic, as the phenomenon shown in the video is still very newsworthy and did not lose significance. Maybe it's even more topical than ever, given the situation in the world that seems to run into the beginning of sorrows right now. Therefore, I hope that you will appreciate the content right now. We don't know how harmful the coronavirus in fact is, or whether it is harmful at all. You can see here that researchers have heavy doubts about the fatality of the virus and estimate the fatality in the range of a normal mild flu with death rates of 2.3% in China and 0.5% elsewhere, which is below death rates of normal mild flus. This research was published in the British medical journal BMJ, a highest rated scientific journal. It is also possible that the virus has lost its fatality given that prayers have been prayed to let the virus and all evil activities go down. But the worldwide measures of confining a pandemic are still heating up and humans are dying from something, which is used to propagate the pretended danger of the virus. Maybe the virus has lost its potential or never had such a potential to seriously harm people or to trigger a pandemic. We don't know. But officials have fueled fear and information is spread. It is astonishing that all these harassing measures could have been carried out even on the basis of so doubtful data and imprecise test modalities. I say this because there is strong evidence that the test for this coronavirus is very unreliable. Look at this scientific article here, published in a scientific journal and on PubMed, the world leading repository for high quality science literature into medicine. According to this article, the test has an overall false positive rate of 50% and a false positive rate among those tested positive of 80%. That means if you throw a coin and randomly assign a positive result to one of two persons, then the one person who is tested positive does not need to be scared because it has most probably not the virus. This is insane, isn't it? It also means that you always get enough new cases as long as you continue to test. So, based on this sin and obviously wrong data, it seems that we are being plucked, not only by the virus, but also by fear-mongering and hysteria spreading with all the reports and news about contamination in mass media and all the images from people with protective clothing and from viruses. And as it seems, the crisis opened the door to heavily limit civil rights. These measures of curfew and shutting down the public life that are commanded in many countries are contributing to erode rights of freedom, since curfew is nothing else than house arrest, imprisonment, this is dangerous and it appears like the emergence of the Antichrist system. Only missing the introduction of FEMA camps where contaminated people will be displaced and treated by force. And we should also not overlook the economic impact of the shutdown. Even the Federal Reserve and the US Secretary of Treasury estimated unemployment to hit 30 to 35% as an outcome of this so-called crisis. We may predict that much more people could die of the heavily economic crisis than from Corona. In other words, when the heavy economic burden will come and bring his catastrophic load, including shortage of food and medical supply and struggle for survival in the streets, nobody will ask for Corona anymore. By the way, YouTube obviously removes videos for hate speech 
Those videos presenting strong scientific evidence that the corona flu is not more dangerous than any mild flu and that this year flu wave, including corona, is even smaller than that of the previous years. YouTube removes such videos for hate speech, videos presenting only hard scientific facts. If this is not unmasking a deeper purpose, then I don't know what can make it more clear that we are being misled. I am showing you such a video, which is by Oliver Janik. You may find the link to this video in the upper corner and in the description box. This video was removed by YouTube, but re-uploaded by another channel later. It is striking that there are scientific facts presented in the video all of which pointing to the conclusion that the corona flu is nothing more than a usual mild flu. For international viewers, I recommend to look at the video as you find scientific information regarding the degree of hazard of this pandemic, as it is relevant worldwide. You may use the translator by clicking on the adjustments button here, and then subtitles. If it says subtitles off, then you should click on subtitles in German. Then it jumps back to the adjustment menu. And now you click subtitles again. The subtitles menu opens again. And you can choose automatic translation and select the language you want, English for example. And then you can see the English translation of the video as subtitles, as you can see here. All the measures of shutdown public life and the hysteria spreading by mass media are suitable to frighten the people. But don't be deceived. The devil intends to put fear into humans such that they don't trust in God, but in the flesh alone, in humans, in the government, such that they accept all measures of intervention and limitation of freedom. God is admitting this. He said, let them be deceived, so that they are all damned, since they don't believe in the truth, the truth that can save them. So the scare that is not of God, but of the enemy, should draw into people who forsake the Lord and who put their trust in the flesh alone, in government, in so-called scientists. So we need to recognize that this is biblical end-time prophecy that is coming true before our very eyes. Remember what Jesus told us when he talks about the signs of the end time, the labor pains that can be observed on earth and in the sky. He said in Luke chapter 21, verse 11, there shall be earthquakes in different places and famines and pestilences and there shall be fearful sights and great signs in the sky. So this current scenario seems to fulfill Bible end time prophecy very closely. First pestilence, subsequently famines, which may arise as a result of the possible economic burden following the pandemic irrespective of the real perilousness of the virus. In Matthew chapter 24 we read, And there shall be pestilences and famines and earthquakes in diverse places. All of these are the beginning of sorrows. Interestingly, we also find another translation of this verse, where it reads, An expensive time instead of famine. This is significant as an economic crisis is usually accompanied by inflation, that is devaluation of money, when prices of convenience goods, in particular food, get extremely high. And we know that the central banks of most western industrialized countries have already inflated their money system and extremely increased the amount of money in circulation. The economic crisis which is almost unavoidable anymore after months of complete shutdown, may be the tipping point for the money system to collapse and inflation to emerge. We may then see bank run happening and bankruptcies of commercial banks as in the times of the Great Depression in 1929. But compared to that time, the situation now is even more dangerous given that equity and reserve money regulations have been loosened. So many banks today don't have any reserve money for paying out savings over the interest payments they earn from loans. This situation is predestined for collapse even by a small shock. 
So what we are facing right now is part of the labor pains, the beginning of sorrows, as the Bible is referring to at various places, such as Matthew chapter 24 and Luke chapter 21, where pestilences and famines are always mentioned in combination. In Psalm 48, verse 6, we read, Panic seized them there, anguish, as of a woman in childbirth. Panic is exactly what we see right now, as people are hoarding and panicking each other. Panic is also spread over the mass media. This current scenario may also be a test for an even more drastic scenario that is coming, accustoming people to this kind of intimidation. I want to add two observations that came to my attention during the preparation of this video. The first is regarding the situation in the hospitals. We know today that there is much disinformation regarding this. News media showed images from people rushing to hospitals, overfull hospitals, and lacking medication and medical devices such as these respirators. Alternative media, however, have revealed that this wrong information has been staged managed. Much of this uncovering has been contributed by the Film Your Hospital movement, where many people from around the world have approached hospitals in their neighborhood and recorded that there is going on nothing. No people, no emergency cases, no rushing, no working, nothing but complete quietness. And I can add a personal observation. No visitors can get inside of hospitals since three weeks. Nobody can see what is going on there inside. But I was inside. It was because my aunt was at the intensive care unit and I was allowed by special permit to visit her since the beginning of the shutdown three weeks ago. At first, when I entered the ward, I was astonished because I never saw so many empty beds. There were only two rooms occupied on the entire ward, all other rooms totally empty. My aunt was then relocated to another ward for several times. And when I visited her there, I saw that even this other ward was likewise abandoned. Most rooms were empty. At that time, I didn't wonder why the hospital was so empty, and I didn't relate it to the corona crisis and the war on disinformation in the media. But now, when I recognized that they want us to believe that the situation is drastic with overfull hospitals, I remembered these visits when I saw these empty wards and the very quiet atmosphere inside the hospital. It was somehow unreal to see this lonesomeness inside of the hospital. I thought, where are all the patients from the corona crisis? There were none. The second observation I made is also regarding the disinformation of the mass media on the corona crisis. I reported about a scientific study showing that the false positive rate of the test for coronavirus is between 50 and 80 percent. Now see what has happened in the meantime. The scientific article is listed as withdrawn in PubMed. I must say that I am working for 15 years in scientific publishing and I can say without hesitation that I never saw something like this. This is an article that was already published in a journal. It's important to know that scientific articles, before they are published, pass several processes, in particular the peer review process, but also the editorial process. An article is published if and only if several scientists and the editor of the journal have very meticulously checked the article. Only if the article is free of any scientific objections, it will be published. Authors have put much work in the study and in writing the article and would not withdraw an article from publication, in particular not when the article is already published. So something else must have happened behind the scene that this very unusual event occurred. I don't say that something evil has happened to damage or remove this information from the public, because I cannot prove it. It is just an observation. I leave the conclusion up to you. But coming now to the signs in the sky I intended to report on in this video. 
We know that Jesus mentioned these signs in the sky in combination with pestilences and famines when he talked about the signs of the end time. In Luke chapter 21 verse 11 where he said there shall be earthquakes in different places and famines and pestilences and there shall be fearful sights and great signs in the sky. We need to recognize that there are massive changes in the sun that are not mentioned in mainstream media. I will show you today a huge sun eruption that has never been observed before and other anomalies in the sky which are not explainable naturally. But even before I recorded this video, I have already reported about other changes in the sun. The sun is sometimes weak and dark. Sometimes it looks like the sun is behind a brownish veil. It looks misty and cloudy, even though the sky is bright blue and cloudless. The true sun can be seen when the artificial sun is covered. We need to consider an artificial sun here, as there is a bright point of light in the middle of the sun. The artificial sun, also considered as a sun simulator, is obviously positioned in front of the real sun. The sun simulator is very small compared to the visible size of the real sun and can be covered completely by a tiny pole or a street lamp or even a small key as you can see here. But the real sun is never so small that it can be covered by such a tiny pole as you can see in the inset. If you don't know about the changes in the sun and how the artificial sun operates, I recommend you to take a look at the other videos reporting on these phenomena in detail. I will show the links to these videos when I have them available in English language. The sun may be concealed sometimes by celestial objects and possibly a cosmic nebula. This may be the reason for occasional changes in the sun, its weakening in brightness, its brownish staining and the tremendous changes in size as the sun occasionally shrinks down to the tenth part of its actual size. These are obvious signs of the end time that are described in the Bible for the time shortly before the return of the Lord. Jesus told us, be watchful and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that should happen and recognize the signs of the time. The signs of the end time will appear in the sky when the return of Christ is imminent. Jesus answered the disciples when they asked him for the signs of his return. There will be signs in the sun, in the moon and in the sky. And the powers of the sky will be shaken. He also mentioned that the sun will be darkened and the moon will lose its sight. As was also predicted by the prophets Isaiah and Joel. So let's take a look at the sun eruption now. I have recorded it with a regular camera without any magnification. I suppose that this phenomenon hasn't ever recorded on camera before. It is a kind of an eruption, an incredible huge sun flare. Look at the upper right side of the sun, approximately at 2 o'clock. I've made a freeze image of the eruption. You can see how huge it is that came out of the sun. Unfortunately, I stopped the recording when the eruption happened. This was because I couldn't see this phenomenon when I recorded it, because of the brightness that I was exposed when I was looking into the sun. But you can see the start of the flare and I took still images afterwards, where you can see how the flare moved away from the sun and departed in northeastern direction. Look at the upper right side of the sun. Can you see this thing coming out of the sun? It became huge and then it moved away from the sun. That's just incredible what we are seeing here, isn't it? A huge torch burns out of the sun. This thing is huge compared with the size of the entire sun. Have a look at this. I repeat it again. Did you ever see something like that? We have to say again very clearly. What we are seeing here is not a normal solar flare, because we cannot see solar flares from Earth without a very large magnification using a telescope. And even then they are difficult to see. But this thing here is so big that you can see it clearly without any magnification. So it's definitely not a normal solar flare, it's something else.
Let's make it very clear. What we see here cannot be explained naturally. It's not a natural thing, but something supernatural. These are the biblical signs of the end times, the signs in the sun that Jesus predicted for the time shortly before his return. It is as part of the beginning of God's judgment upon the earth. By the way, this phenomenon happened on June 23, 2019. When we take a close look at the records of sun flares, here for example on this website that enlists the strongest flares in 2019, then we can see the 23rd of June is not enlisted here. The entries are unfortunately not ordered by date but intensity, with C9.9 .9 as the most intense eruption that happened in 2019, which was on May 6. Scrolling downwards and we see no eruption documented on June 23, not even a small one. I've also searched the page for the date again by using the search function of the browser, as you can see below, 23rd of June 2019. No eruption registered on June 23 at all. That's interesting, isn't it? Anyway, perhaps I can say one more thing about this incredible phenomenon. June 23, 2019 was exactly one day before this great heat wave started in Germany and in the northern hemisphere. We had temperatures of up to 40 degrees Celsius in the week from June 24 onwards, which represent all-time record temperatures for the month June according to weather records. In 2018 already, we had a heat and record drought after practically no rain in the summer for around three months. There were huge crop failures and a similar heat and drought was seen in 2019. Don't be deceived. This has nothing to do with man-made climate change. This is part of the birth pains, the drastic events that are coming to earth as God is outpouring his wrath upon the earth such that all that shall happen, what is written in prophecies. But let's get back to the signs in the sky, in the sun and in the stars that Jesus predicted as end time signs in Luke chapter 21 verse 25. I want to show you something that will blow your mind and that you have probably never seen so clearly, namely a foreign planet or sun in our sky, near our sun very clearly. This footage is from China. It was uploaded to a Chinese channel called Tang Gang. I show you the link to the original video here and you can find it in the description box. What you see here is a foreign planet or sun in our sky that shouldn't be there. It's not the moon because the moon is not so close to the sun. It's definitely not a lens flare as well because as you can see clouds are moving across the planet. However, clouds can never be in front of a camera lens flare. What we see here is possibly the failure of the projector technology that operates the artificial sun and that hides the real sun and surrounding space in the sky, so that possible large celestial bodies in our sky are not visible from Earth. There's a lot of footage that shows large planets in our sky, but I have never seen it as clearly as on these pictures. You can see how this large celestial body, which is above the sun, disappears behind clouds and then reappears. It's probably a sun and not a planet, but we can't say that exactly. In any case, it is clear proof of the incredible events in our sky. It is the biblical signs of the end times that we see here. Check it out. For many who are learning about foreign planets in our sky for the first time, this must be a shock. But what you see here is proof of the existence of strange and large celestial bodies in our sky. And if we watch closely these pictures, we can also see something else, something shocking, but at the same time unmasking. Apparently, Attempts are being made to repair something near the foreign sun that should obviously not be visible. Look at the black objects moving to the left and below the sun. If you look closely, you can see that these objects do flight movements like bats. 
You can see wings and something like a tail. I mark these objects so that you can easily identify them. Do we see here fallen angels, demons trying to fix the matrix, the projector technology that was damaged and failed, so that the view of the foreign sun in our sky was clear?